Hey everyone, this is Chinese Dr. Lita here, and I want to share with you some things you can do in the spring to support your liver and support your whole body based on Chinese medical principles. So within the cosmology of Chinese medicine, we are regarded as natural microcosms of the universe. We are subject to the same cycles that occur in nature. So spring is a time of rebirth, sudden growth, rapid expansion. In Chinese medicine, changes are expected, but they're unpredictable. So this is a time for change, for metamorphosis, during which energies are blooming, your horizon is widening. Whatever resources have been stored in the slowness, the darkness, the stillness of winter, that energy is ready to bloom, to come up. So this is the time to execute, to initiate projects that maybe you thought about, but you haven't yet begun. Spring is creative, volatile, powerful. So as you move into the season of spring and feel the energy, you want to ask yourself, how can I best be in harmony with the season of spring? So I have always recognized consciousness and spirit to be primary in the creation, the sustenance, the development of the universe. My fundamental interest is in the degree in which I can support the liberation, the evolution, consciousness of not only the individual, but the collective. This urgency that I feel is motivated by serious um, challenge, health challenges, struggles that I've seen in patients. And we're at a place in evolution where we have challenges and we actually have a choice at this point. The most significant part of healing lies in the renunciation of the victim position and the assumption of 100% responsibility over yourself um, and, and embody that by the actual choices. So we call this start with yourself. Um, that is super important because a lot of what I can teach in Chinese medicine is self-care strategies to empower you to understand what your body is trying to tell you, what is trying to inform you, information, and then how can you self-correct, course correct. Very empowering. So what we want to do um, in Chinese medicine, or at least the work that I'm doing, is to assist you in realizing that you might have fears, you might have desires of the ego, um, freedom to remind you that freedom is the freedom to choose, um, instead of being you know, enslaved to a conditioned mind, to beliefs that really don't work for you, and then free to choose to do the right thing. And when you slow down and are connected with yourself, you realize I'm empowered. I can actually make a choice in this moment. And of course, I want to talk about overall health. So in Chinese medicine, what is it? Well, it's an ancient but very modern healing system, a complete healing system. It has very insightful wisdom and this ability to understand and address your individual health needs. It empowers each person to unite, connect their own body, mind, and spirit. It, it teaches you how to live a life of balance, of wellness, of harmony. It can be effectively applied to anybody, any health issue at any time, because its fundamental root is, lies in unchanging natural law. So maybe some of you have seen a Chinese medical practitioner, an acupuncturist. They might have used um, any of the modalities listed here, any of the branches, acupuncture, herbal medicine, maybe supplementation. Twina is the medical modality of massage. Qigong and Tai Chi is the fitness branch. It's also a moving meditation, but as you see any of the branches, they're an underlying medical system. Feng Shui is the idea of how you are relating with the material world, with the elements, and I'll talk about five elements in a minute, and then cosmology. When you took that breath, the first time you took a breath, where were there stars in relationship to you and planet Earth? Some um, other modalities are used if you come to see one of us at, as a treatment, and then because we as healers have a wide background, you might see some of these other modalities used. In the springtime, in traditional Chinese medicine, <clears throat> seasons are very important for understanding health and well-being. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> in the springtime, in traditional Chinese medicine, in Chinese medicine, seasons are very important for understanding our health and well-being. Each season has a corresponding element. The five elements, along with the theory of yin and yang, constitute the basis of Chinese medical theory. 
So this is going to provide a grounding and understanding about how we are connected to our environment and to change. So the seasons, your diet, temperature, emotions, all affect our health and well-being. And the beauty is that Chinese medicine can assist you when you're out of balance and when you're manifesting illness. The organ that shares the character of season of spring is the liver. So I want to talk a little bit about what that looks like. Because the springtime is associated with the liver, this is the time we want to support it. It's a yin organ. Um, and how do we do this? Well, we do it by foods and herbs. When I think about spring, I'm, I'm drawn to nettle leaf, to dandelion root, tea, steamed nettles, dandelion leaf, um, leaf salads, dandelion leaf salads. It's a tongue twister. Both dandelion and nettle support the growth of the spring in the liver. So dandelions, well, nettles especially, are beneficial as a spring tonic and a rejuvenator. So what we say to our patients in the spring is add spicy um, things to your diet. A little bit of sweet, slightly warm to prepare for summer. But as we move from winter from cold into warmer weather, we're going to want to cook with some different spices. So I would suggest basil, fennel, marjoram, uh, rosemary, caraway, dill, bay leaf. These are really good spices that are spicy, spicy um, to, to, to support the liver chi. Um, you'll notice outside that things are more green, so more lush. It's a great reminder to eat dark leafy green vegetables. The transition from winter to spring, it, 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 you take time to honor the light, the changes in temperature, and same with the foods. Um, I ask myself and ask my patients, what will you do to honor that change within you? Um, because your body is a compass. It's, 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 it's telling you in a wisdom, um, sorry, in a whisper, uh, before it gets louder and louder. So the five elements. So a person, we're all born with these innate characteristics and abilities that are elemental in nature. These elements are metaphysically represented by wood, fire, earth, metal, and water. And they're, they're, these elements are cosmic energies that radiate to the constellations and that give birth to all living things on earth. We are infused with the energies of these five elements based on the configuration of stars at our birth. That's in your natal chart. We can do your Batsa chart another time. We usually do it around the Chinese New Year in February. But that's the geomancy, the astrology I was talking about. Now, the basic principle that I want you to understand of the five elements is the control and the production cycle. So you'll notice the generation cycle on the outside, the control is on the red, right in the middle. Each element produces and controls another element to keep balance. But if one element is too strong or unchallenged, then the balance is lost. So one of the most important things we want to do is maintain balance. Because we're in the spring, it's the wood element. This is the energy that brings forth new growth. It's the energy that pushes the snow through the grasses. And as you're walking down the street, you'll notice the trees um, bursting, you know, opening up the pavement on the sidewalks. Those new branches that stem off the old one, wood produces new leaves. So this is nature. It needs, nature needs nourishment to flourish, and so do we. Spring is the time of hope. It's the season that bursts forward optimism. It offers change after the quiet stillness of winter. So every seed, every sapling, it's following um, its own, um, own uh, sorry, own part of nature's plan. So think of the wood of a tree. It gives nature structure and shape, but it doesn't let anything hold it back as it drives forward, as it grows. So without this type of change, all things would wither and die. So we as humans want to be solid in our foundation and our values and who we are, but just like bamboo, be flexible with life, with change. So I mentioned river and cobweb. They are connected to the element of wood. And when the river is out of balance, we can become resistant. We can become a stick in the mud type of person who finds it hard to uproot themselves and adapt to change or inflexible, irritable, and even angry. This is when you could start to see that the liver is functioning not so great, you know, moving towards a dis-ease state. Um, and think of it as liver not, um, we call it a smooth flow of qi in Chinese medicine. Um, 
we, uh, if, if you take a look at uh, the list on the left there, though, that's going to show up when your liver is not functioning well. What we want is to have a high functioning, well balanced liver. And you'll notice that the things on the right, the forgiving spirit, being decisive, having joy, passion, uh, a willingness to let go. This is when liver and gallbladder um, are in balance, which, which is what we want to do. So some things to think about. There are some examples. Because Chinese medicine is based on Taoism, we will always want you to be in nature. It's a place where you can move your body and meditate, empty your mind, create some awareness, but connect with yourself. That's one of the most important things. Another thing on the earth dog here is to gather people around food, um, get your hands in the earth, gardening, start a garden, um, singing, um, uh, connecting with friends, a lot of different things that you can do in the spring to be engaged in life, playful out. So the time is now. So there are ways you could stimulate your wood element. Um, I would say if you have the most important tasks of the day, then you want to do them in the morning. Um, there is also a direction of yeast. Um, the taste is sour, introducing more sour foods. The color is green, maybe putting uh, accent, green pillows or a green blanket, just creating that, you know, the energy of the spring and the wood element. The element of wood relates to your benevolence, to your gratitude. So people that have a good heart, a positive outlook on life, um, that means that they have a healthy balance of wood. You, you will notice it when you feel not so kind or compassionate towards others, when you're not able to move forward in life. That means that you might have an imbalance of wood element. So from an emotional standpoint, you know, we talked about wanting patience, kindness, having benevolence. That's a healthy wood. From a health standpoint, when wood element is not balanced, you either too weak or too excessive, issues in the eyes, the muscles, the blood, liver, gallbladder might happen. From activities, you know, these activities are good to stimulate a weak wood energy. And those foods and drinks, these act as medicine because they stimulate the organs directly. So those are the things to do if you want to stimulate good, uh, healthy wood element in the spring. Let's step back a second. What do we want? We want vibrant bodies. We want modes of energy. We want a clear mind because... Many of us today, noticing in my patients' practice over the last 10 or 15 years, things have changed. We're not eating the same foods that we're eating. There's different stressors in our life, different environmental toxins, more EMF toxins. We're lacking the vital nutrients, the, the phytonutrients, healthy fats, um, to, to, to really just have a foundation for, for a healthy body. Your health, your well-being is dependent not just on, on the food you're eating and what you're intaking, but even more importantly, how your body will remove toxins. How does it purge the things that don't serve you? Environmental pollution, toxic body products, body care, processed foods, um, stress. This is all saying liver detox, liver cleanse. One of the things is, is that I give that example of a car oil change. You know, the mechanic says, get, a, get an oil change of 3,000 miles. It'll run cleaner and more efficient. It's so important with the body. Same thing. We might go 3,000 miles and do a cleanse and support the liver, but most of us, 5, 10, 20,000, sometimes none of us have ever done a cleanse. One of the main ways that your body is going to get rid of toxins is through the liver. In fact, it's one of the hardest working organs of the body. It works tirelessly to detoxify your blood. It produces bile to digest fat. It breaks down hormones. It stores essential vitamins, minerals, iron. And when the liver is not functioning optimally, you cannot even digest your food properly, especially fats. And healthy fats is super important for a healthy brain and also to eat fat, to lose fat or to burn fat. So in the spring, an overview of what practitioners like me suggest to patients that want to be overall vibrant and healthy are in these categories. And I might have left some out, but food, supplements, relationship, home, again, the list. You know, I go through all these things a little bit in detail during the cleanse. I have a private Facebook group, and I really want to support you thinking about your health as a holistic approach, how you self-express, how you let go, how's your sleep, you know, how much water do you get? How many times are you getting sauerkraut? How many times do you eat pizza? Do you drink alcohol? 
What about stress management with your mind? I mean, again, financial health, social health, sexual expression, all these things make up how you move through the world in your body, in your mind, in your heart. And so these are just an overview on things to think about um, moving forward in the spring. So the foundation of um, living a healthy life is best practices around shopping. Food combining, the timing of eating. So we do a lot of intermittent fasting, ketogenic lifestyle with patients if needed. Um, what are the quality of nutrients you're eating? One of the first things I do with patients is teach them how do we shop? Because food is a huge part of medicine or toxins in the body. So I, I'll just give you a couple tips here, but I will go into it more in the cleanse. Number one is you want to shop in a perimeter of the store. This is where most of the foods that you want to get, medicinal and neutral, are in. You know, the, the, the center aisles, those are more toxic foods. Um, we, I want to remind people, you know, buying grass-fed or wild-caught meat is ideal. Um, I, tell, I remind patients, try not to shop when you're hungry because we're more, more likely to buy things that don't really serve us. Um, if you're not very good at shopping, then shop with someone else for accountability. When you're questioning a food, don't buy it. Because if you're questioning it, then there's something in there that's saying, mm, this might not be good. We recommend, you know, again, we meaning acupuncturists, Chinese doctors, shop in season, buy local. It, you know, if you have a farmer's market, please go to the farmer's market, know your farmer. Um, if you're buying supplements they're, or protein powders, they're really not ideal at the regular grocery store. They're low quality. What happens is they do more harm than good. And lastly, if it comes in a box, a bag, or a can, um, it's probably really not going to serve you. So I just wrote some goals for the spring. Um, there are, you know, again, depending on your lifestyle, it's very individual, but we um, will say, you know, eliminate foods that have um, pro-inflammatory response. If they're acidic, um, you know, we want to rest and support the digestive system during a cleanse. Um, a lot of foods are acidic, so we want to alkalize um, the pH and the GI tract. And blood glucose levels, you know, we're overdoing sweets and sugars. And again, bowel transmit, elimination. How's your elimination going? Balancing hormones, and again, removing heavy metals. This is just a baseline. Again, I could go deeper and more into it, but these are overall goals that we have for you in the spring. So I want to talk about toxins because it's overall load. I tell patients, you know, if you, you were to take a 30-day period of calendar, how many times did you get probiotic rich drink of foods. Um, how many times did you, you know, drink a glass of wine? So it's, it's looking at overall load. So toxins, they come from food, unfortunately. They come from a lot of different things. Cooking oil is too high, they become rancid, nuts become rancid. There's a lot of mold on cannabis and coffee. Um, of course, alcohol, caffeine, um, artificial additives, um, processed foods, of course. So. There's a lot of things that you can do to avoid the load um, so it makes your body to work harder. And then, of course, things we can't control, like environmental toxins, EMFs. So that the things we want to focus on the things you can control. What to eat and drink. So this is very short list. Um, I have a very specific um, three-level food plan. And it's not restrictive. I want to say that. It's very expansive. Um, there's groups of categories. But... The main thing is water and tea, vegetables, um, fruit. You know, they, they, it is, they have a natural sugar, which is great. I recommend berries, but we do want to limit the, the fruits. Nuts, there's a category of nuts that go from um, medicinal to toxic. Um, I prefer flax, coconut, and olive oil. Coconut, you can do at high heat. Olive and flax oil should be room temperature and unheated. Um, and high quality protein, but I, I stress vegetables, vegetables, vegetables. Um, if you're doing raw, then um, if your digestion is okay, that's great. If it's warm out, but if your system is cold, then we recommend lightly steamed. And again, this is individual. When I lead people in a cleanse, we do talk about food and we talk about a hierarchy of inflammatory toxic foods to medicinal foods. And in these categories here and recommended products, I go over, um, let's try to only intake medicinal and neutral foods in the cleanse. Let's try to minimize the toxic foods. And there's tons in these categories. So, you know, one of the things that people get afraid of is I don't want to do a cleanse or a detox because it's never the right time. Um, my anniversary, a birthday, a wedding. So I, I want to make a note that this, this cleanse is very customizable.
live a busy life, I want to talk about fresh vegetable juice. So enzymes in fresh vegetable juices, they help break down and remove toxins because of the high chlorophyll content, chlorophyll content in the green leafy vegetables, they're going to cleanse, they're going to reoxygenate the blood. So I would say fresh vegetable juice, if you have a juicer at home or if you have a health food store that can get a fresh juice, that's a great way. Um, bone broth, herbal, oh, sorry, um, herbal teas. Um, this is a great way to help hydrate and cleanse the body. A note on caffeine here. So caffeinated teas, um, we recommend to be avoided if you can. Um, sometimes they can avoid, uh, interfere with cleansing and rebalancing processes in the body. Um, but herbal teas that support the elimination process obviously is beneficial. So you can um, boil dandelion root, burdock root, astragalus root, ginger root, licorice root. Those are all the roots that I love. Um, nettles I mentioned, mint, fennel, cardamom, um, robos, red clover blossom. Those are great things to boil and drink. Very nourishing for the spring. Um, again, fruits I mentioned if you can do berries or eliminate fruit um, because they do have natural sugar. Now I did just mention broth. So bone broth has become very popular. It's one of the staples in Chinese medicine for thousands of years. Um, you can make a bone broth out of chicken, um, beef, beef bones, etc. Um, I have recipes for that. But if you're wanting to do an alkalizing broth, um, I would just simmer the vegetables for 45 minutes, strain them and drink the broth throughout the day. So I recommend green beans, zucchini, parsley, spinach, and celery. And again, I have these recipes on the Facebook group, but also from a mineral broth, um, I recommend beets, kale, mustard, or dandelion are both greens. Um, seaweed, a little bit of flaxseed, burdock root, astragalus, turmeric uh, root, and then of course, a little bit of garlic and onion. So love to do a mineral broth because with stress, we just deplete minerals. And a lot of us are mineral deficient. Um, as a licensed herbalist, um, I, I, I just really love plant medicine. The earth provides amazing nutrients of what we need. So um, in herbal medicine right now, these are the common herbs that support the liver and gallbladder. Um, and I would say, you know, you don't have to do all of them, you know, pick something that resonates with you that feels good. If you want a specific um, herbal blend, then of course, um, talk to me. I'd, I'd be happy to, to individualize the herbs for you. Um, I'm actually going to skip this slide. Um, I, I go a little bit more into protein sources, oils. Um, the one thing about hydration is um, try not to drink out of plastic, especially if you have lemon. Lemon, um, lemon should be avoided at all times in plastic because it, it helps actually leach out the chemicals from the plastic. But the great news is if you're having lemon water in glass, the lemon actually helps it, uh, add a detoxification effect. So you don't want a detoxification effect with the um, with the plastic water. Okay, the, the one thing I want to mention about supplements is that during a cleanse, you can you know do self-care strategies. You can modify your food, you can take out coffee, you, you can take out a call, but it's the supplements, it's it's the supplements that are gonna bind, you know, a charcoal mix. I'll get into what they are, but they're gonna bind to the toxins push it out of the liver, move it through the GI tract, and move it out of the GI tract through the elimination organs. That's why I cannot recommend enough that everybody uses, you know, very specific supplementation to support the body to get rid of the cleanse. Um, when you're doing a cleanse, sometimes you want a little bit of external support, like a treatment. Acupuncture is an amazing adjunct modality to do during a cleanse because we have acupuncture um, detox protocols. But as the list there, if you have access to a farm for sauna, if you know someone that can give a lymphatic drainage massage, um, I have a great recipe for a coffee enema. So um, about if you have access to a vibration plate, lots of things to support you in enhancing de the detoxification process significantly. significantly. Self-care strategies. So I love, first and foremost, hydrotherapy, getting the lymphatic system going. So what this means is hot and cold in the shower. And I know what you're thinking. It's nice and warm in the shower with the hot water, but then flush it to cold at the shocks of the system. So what you're going to want to do is make sure that you're getting water on the lymph nodes, on the front and the back of your body. Dry skin brushing, rigorous towards the heart is amazing, again, to get that lymphatic system going, to get the metabolism going. The one other thing I want to make a note, I say go to bed by 1030. The organ clock in Chinese medicine 
starts at 11 for the wood element. So we always want you sleeping before the wood element because that, that is literally like plugging in your liver and gallbladder and raising the frequency and the functionality of the liver and gallbladder. So try to get to bed um, a little bit earlier if you can, especially if you're, if you're a night owl. So you may need some assistance in elimination while on a cleanse. I mean, everybody's very different. So the tricks of, you know, um, grounding some fresh flaxseed or psyllium husk and using a digestive uh, formula and stuff. I know um, I like to help with acupuncture points. There's a specific Qigong breath exercise you can do. There's a couple other tools you can do um, on your own to help the elimination process, of course, drinking water. So um, really important to understand the organ systems that are in elimination in your body and making sure that you are moving the bowel. So really, really important with that. So in Chinese medicine, because the organs are associated with liver and gallbladder, it's time for a spring cleanse. Why? Well, first and foremost, we have an overload. Toxins work on us on a cellular level. They stop your ability to generate energy, to generate chi. They lower your adrenal, your mitochondrial function. I mean, very importantly, they lower cognitive function. They hide things in you that create anxiety, brain fog, confusion. And then we try to drink coffee to stimulate the energy to keep up with the demands on us, the daily demands. But what's underneath all this? We need proper detoxification. And proper is the key word. Detox allows you to run efficiently. Now remember the oil change. There's a doctor out of Boulder, Dr. Christopher Shade, whose life's work is detoxification. He believes it, he is more help to us by removing things from our bodies. He's been using 10 different products throughout the last 20 years, and he's narrowed it down to two to three. Successful detoxification comes down to effectively grabbing toxins, moving them through your liver, out into the GI tract, and catching them in the GI tract so they're not reabsorbed. That's, that's the key. So let's take a look at what this is. This is a two-step detoxification protocol. It's gonna support elimination of toxins, it's going to minimize redistribution and reabsorption of those toxins. Now, again, liver detoxification is essential for proper health because I, I have seen improperly designed protocols. And again, you want to go through phase one, two, and three of, of liver detoxification. Some of the supplements only go through phase one and phase two, which means toxic redistribution rather than elimination. So this particular formula and the delivery chemistry, which I will talk about, is Dr. Shade's extensive research because of the detoxification pathways, the organs of elimination. So there's two products I'm going to talk about first, the liver clear, and you'll see the mega binder. The liver clear is going to push toxins with a liposomal blend of bitters with a powerful antioxidant support. And then the mega binder is going to capture the toxins in the gut. It has a broad spectrum constellation of binders, charcoal being one of them. And then it's going to, it's blended with prebiotic herbs. Okay. So that is because it allows the toxins to safely be eliminated to the body. I want to go into the first one. This is liver clear. So it's a proprietary liposomal blend. And, if you, and I'll talk about liposomal in a second. So you understand it with potent bitter drainage and detoxification capability very specific, every phytonutrient that, that is blended or added in this product is going to promote your own powerful endogenous in the body antioxidant defenses. Now remember, your body's intelligent, but because over time, you know, it wanes in function because we've, we've required too much of it. Liver clear charges up the phases of detox in your body. It moves bile, it's going to protect your liver. It's going to promote cellular, hepatic, glutathione production, and it's going to balance um, your inflammatory pathways. Now, the liposomal bitter quartet, it's going to include dandelion, solidago, gentian, and myrrh, and it's going to do four things. It's going to stimulate digestion. It's going to deliver gallbladder kidney function. It's going to promote healthy bile flow, and then it's going to offer that broad microbial balancing action, again, so you can safely eliminate. This bitter boost is going to keep drainage pathways open. It's going to um, 
you know, it has a blend of targeted nutraceuticals that's going to, you know, detoxify. It has antioxidants, anti-inflammatory, antihistamine support. It is, it is brilliant, brilliant. I love, I'm so excited that this product is finally here. Some of us practitioners have been waiting years for this. So let me talk a little bit about the um, ultimate toxin. Uh, we call it Mega Binder. So this is a universal blend, a synergistic blend of binders. Okay, so these binders are going to capture toxins in the GI tract. These binders have been shown to work on mycotoxins, cyanotoxins, pesticides, herbicides, endotoxins, endocrine disruptors, inflammatory moxils, okay, toxins that maybe are in your bile, heavy metals, including mercury. Um, maybe you have metals in your mouth instead. So again, this is a broad spectrum um, binder um, that literally is going to make sure that it eliminates the toxins uh, safely. So what's beautiful about cleanses and working with a practitioner is that you can have an individualized detoxification program customizable for you. So the most important thing, the reason I'm interested in helping patients and helping individuals detoxify is because what does it do? It opens you up. It frees yourself up from the things that are actually burdening you. And this is on a physical level, but it affects your mental, emotional, spiritual health. You have, your, you have a birthright to be vibrant, to have energy, to have a clear mind. The great thing about this program, this detox program, is it's scalable. So remember, effective detoxification program respects the fact that your body has a built-in, highly evolved defense mechanism. It includes adaptation habituation, um, tendency towards obviously homeostasis for wellness. But to take in botanicals, phytonutrients that promote detoxification, drainage and elimination, it can be highly effective. So what happens is, is that you want um, to self-assess your lifestyle. How toxic are you? You're the only one that knows if you're on a pharmaceutical. If you're a plumber or a painter, you're, you're exposed to different toxins. If you moved into a new house, maybe there's off-gassing of new furniture, new carpet. So again, you only know your level of exposure. You can cycle on and cycle off, okay? So what this means is you adjust the dosages when you start taking cleanse supplements based on, on you. Sometimes we have to work. Sometimes we might have a day off. So again, cycling may be necessary to give your body rest so you can experience the full effect. And I will work with you individually on how to do that. Um, once you've established an entry point in this protocol, you can increase the dosage. If you start feeling good, um, and if you start feeling like you're having too many detox symptoms, you might not want a headache, you're not drinking enough water, whatever it is, you can taper it down. So that's the brilliance of these phytonutrients, these botanicals. So there are four levels. Level one is you do it once a day, okay? Level two, is you do it twice a day. Level three, you do it three times a day. And level four is you do a double dose three times a day. So the only thing I really need to say here is that it's customizable based on your overall load. The kit is 180. Um, that includes tax and shipping. Um, I ship all over the US. Um, but what I was going to mention is, is that this product, this company has an unparalleled quality. Um, it is it is incredible the source of of the ingredients, but then how it's processed and encapsulated and available. We call it bioavailability. Your your supplements, your food, is only as good as how much you absorb and how much you assimilate. Remember that. So I want to talk a little bit just briefly about the endocannabinoid system. The endocannabinoid system, if you haven't heard about it. If you look at all the other systems in the body, it's the newest um, discovery in the early 90s by a doctor called Dr. Raphael Machum in Israel. It's, it's interesting to be living at a time when we, we discover a whole new system that we didn't know about. The endocannabinoid system is believed to have more cellular receptor sites than any other receptor system in the body, and it's involved in every aspect of health. And in fact, this system exists in all animals except for non-chordate invertebrates like insects, nematodes, hydra, fungi, plants. So that means that every, almost every living thing with a, with a vertebrate has this endocannabinoid system. What's interesting is the endocannabinoid system was named after the cannabis plant that inspired its discovery. So what the endocannabinoid system, system does 
it's it's adaptive. It responds to cellular stress because the main job is homeostasis. What happens is that some of us, or a lot of us, homeostasis is not happening. Um, we have inflammation. We have you know cyclical thinking. We we have poor digestion, absorption. You know we have headaches, ADD, Alzheimer's. Again, you, you'll understand what I'm saying. If your if your endocrine nervous system job is homeostasis and you are not in balance and thriving, you could have deficiency. So the endocrine nervous system has many aspects. So it's going to help regulate physical, emotional, mental health. The research is incredible. I would recommend and empower you to take a look at the endocrine nervous system and look more on the internet or at one of our other webinars. But I do want to make note that you have receptor sites all over your body for um, cannabinoids. And, and, I, and again, if you don't understand cannabinoids and endocannabinoid system, I'd love to, to chat or, or watch another video of, of ours. But these receptors, you make cannabinoids in your body. And when you don't, which some of us might not be, if we have symptoms, you can actually take an external cannabinoid from a plant, a phytocannabinoid, that will help boost up and have your endocannabinoid system working. I know that's a lot of information. The phytocannabinoids come from cannabis or hemp. So what that means is, is that if you take a hemp extract, which means it has low THC that won't be found in a blood if you're tested, if you um, don't obviously want a psychoactive effect or you're not allowed to have THC because of employment, you can be guaranteed that this product and I'll introduce it here, um, doesn't have THC in it. So, oops, sorry. And so I want to introduce this product. So this, in my mind, is a necessary addition for a spring cleanse, and in fact, for, for most people, because hemp oil is ideal for resetting autonomic balance and restoring your parasympathetic nervous system. It is also going to calm the sympathetic nervous system. So sympathetic nervous system is that fight or flight revved up. And parasympathetic is rest and digest. It's that autonomic nervous system. So hemp oil balances that. I mentioned liposomal um, when, when I talked about the liver cleanse. This particular chemist, this doctor, this formulator, Christopher Shade, has a very unique liposomal delivery system. So what all that means is it dramatically boosts the bioavailability of the oil as a dietary supplement. So after looking at um, some studies, six times more bioavailability means nutrients in the cells after an hour, after 40 or 50 minutes, um, than any other, any other oils that we found. So, you know, again, I, you know, I can't stress enough about the research that I've had to do for my family and for my own life and obviously for my patients. This oil is made with the highest quality industrial hemp strain. It's grown with the strictest organic standards that, that they can find. It's a two-part ethanol in si simulated moving bed chromatography extraction process, and it's going to yield um, all the synergistic phytocannabinoid data. So we have terpenoids, natural compounds from the stalks. Um, it, it is unbelievable. It's non-psychoactive and it's safe for daily consumption. In fact, it's, a, it's considered a dietary supplement. Now, um, it's important to know the source. So I have uh, listed here, um, we have access to the certificate of analysis, it's GMO-free, um, gluten-free, et cetera. Um, this system, okay, our, our, our body um, is, is defined cycles of detox. And, and this program, I have researched over 15 years waiting for a product that is efficient as this. Because when you take this product, it absorbs underneath the two blood vessels, crosses the blood brain barrier in 15 to 30 seconds. Most supplements you have to digest through the stomach and then absorb. And that's what's brilliant about your time, your energy, and your money when you're thinking about buying some supplementation. So how does this work? Well, it's a 30-day protocol. There's four levels of detox that you can do. So again, level one through four. Um, you can add glutathione. I didn't mention that. That's a really good supplement. Um, I recommend everybody adding the hemp, the CBD. And then if you want to take it a step further, and I won't talk about it here, but you can do 
like intermittent fasting or ketogenic um, on the cleanse. That's another option for you. So just to wrap up, number one is in Chinese medicine in the spring, there's so many things you can do for self-care um, based on mental health, emotional health, spiritual health, physical health, the food you're eating, the, mind, the mindset that you have. That's the first, self-care, taking 100% responsibility and how do you feel good in the small? What are the things that I need to eliminate to detoxify, to spring cleanse? Could be toxic thoughts, could be toxic people in your life, toxic experiences, situations. And how we do that, how we feel, our emotional body, our mental state has to do with overall toxic buildup in the body. And this is why I believe it is critical that everybody gets on a nutraceutical, a supplement to all the toxins out of the body. And this is the best cleanse I have found in the 15 years. I do highly recommend adding that hemp oil, of course. So on the website, when you do decide to order, you have an option to order the detox kit plus the oil. And then of course you have the option to order the one, two or three kits. So if you have any questions, please reach out to me, Dr. Luta. I am super excited about working with you, getting to know you, supporting you in this cleanse. We have a private Facebook group. I give you optional homework to do each week. For instance, during um, the times of decluttering, I'm gonna give you some assignments to do. Um, things that you need to do, self-care strategies. So what I love about doing a spring cleanse is that we get to do it together. The next cleanse starts on May 14th, Monday after Labor Day. So I invite you after this webinar to go to optimalhealthandfitness.com buy the cleanse, fill out that questionnaire, get that to me, book your free consult so I can then support you, get you in that Facebook group, and we can start moving into being healthier and more vital. So I appreciate you taking the time to watch this. Um, this is Dr. Lita, and I wish you a very vibrant, healthy uh, spring season.